Hello and welcome back to Incredible Inverse and other animals of me, Phil. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at my Budwing Stick and Sex. So, let's go ahead and take a look. Right, okay, so here we have my Budwing Stick and Sex enclosure or Bainopharos carioriensis. Uh, so, these guys are a fairly large or long uh, species of Stick and Sex or Phasmid. Um, uh, but they are relatively easy to keep, so, so I keep this in a fairly large uh, screen uh, enclosure, um, which I just I think I found on Amazon. I think it was costing about thirty quid or something like that, thirty thirty five pounds. So not too bad. So that's quite strong. I used to keep them in sort of the large pop up uh, butterfly nets. They work fine, um, but I do find you know bramble over time with the spines on it, basically it started ripping uh, the mesh. So I wanted something that was a bit stronger and these they come flat back and the mesh is, is that yeah it's a fair bit stronger and it's more rigid as well um, and that's just better viewing I find uh, with these two but the budwing stick insect um, comes from Thailand it was uh, described in the year 2000 actually so we haven't really known about them uh, all that long in some ways so, uh, now interestingly these guys can reproduce Fire Parthenogenesis, um, which they do in captivity. So all the captive ones um, that the Phasmid Study Group at least know about um, are Parthenogenic, so they, they uh, reproduce asexually, they clone themselves. Um, but in the wild, uh, there are males, so they can reproduce uh, sexually as well. Um, but as yeah, I've, I've certainly never heard of any males uh, being in the wild. But again, according to the, the Phasmid Study Group, um, yeah, there are males in the wild. Those guys, uh, you know, their name is Budwing. They do have little uh, Budwings or vestigial wings, um, sort of on the abdomen. There's so one, so, but um, they're no good for, for flight at all. They are purely for display. Um, now, I don't like really to annoy these guys, so I didn't see at the time of filming any of them displaying, so, but they hold them up and they're bright red. So, so it's, it's basically startle coloration, obviously, to, to try and uh, basically scare off a predator. You don't want to be eaten so they'll do a flash of color and obviously bright colors uh, often mean oh you're, you're dangerous so of course these guys are not dangerous uh, in the slightest so, now they do get a fairly decent size and so you do want a fairly decent size enclosure for them so they've got plenty of space to molt as they need the, the hang uh, to molt and so and the food plant whichever you use you need to try and make sure that goes right up to the top as well and fills the space um as i've said again you know they can find it as well they i do find these hang out a lot at the top of the enclosure and so potentially if you didn't have the food plants going right to the top they wouldn't actually find it now uh, food plants can be bramble which i mainly use hawthorn hypericum and uh, raspberry as well and here we have one of their eggs so they lay plenty of eggs and it'll take a few months to hatch out Okay, so they were my budwing stick insects. I really agree, another amazing species. I absolutely love these guys. I often have these available. Um, so if you come to the shows, um, especially the invert shows, I can sell invertebrates there. So, so I do often have uh, some of these species available as I'm pretty much constantly overrun with them. <laughs> so, but they are amazing. So, um, so if you're looking at getting an insect that gets fairly large, but is really easy to care for, yeah, hit me up um, at the shows and stuff, um, and uh, come and get some. I normally sound fairly cheap as well because I have loads of them. So, well, guys, if you did enjoy this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Please put some comments down below, and if you haven't yet, please do subscribe to, uh, to the channel and hit that bell for notifications so you know every time I upload another video. Till next time, guys. Take care, stay safe, and keep rocking.